Hello dear, I'm so excited to share the fondant recipe I use for my fondant with you. Here we have half cup of glucose, half cup of water, um, 1.5 kg of icing sugar. Feel free to use the same icing sugar please. And then one and a half tablespoon of gelatin. Now sprinkling it like this helps the the gelatin to easily soak up all the water uh, while you allow it proof for some minutes. Um, next is in a bowl, you add in your icing sugar and you add in one teaspoon of your CMC. Now, after sieving it to remove all the lumps, all unwanted residue, you know, you get a very good icing sugar ready for use next is you fetch a little and you set it aside we we'll use it towards the end of the fondant now in a uh, it is a double boiler method you allow the gelatin to melt on the fire using just the steam you know hot water is down there in the pot um then there's the the, the colander there then the heat that is coming out of it helps in melting the gelatin and also subsequently as you add the glucose, it also melts it. You keep on mixing until both are well melted and then they form one liquid, like the same liquid. Please just be patient, just be patient and you get what you want. Now you allow it to cool down for some time and when you're sure it's cool, not completely 100% cool cold now then you add it into your um, cmc and icing sugar combination you begin to use your hand to work it gently and then later on you transfer it into a clean surface i want to use this opportunity to really thank my subscribers that have always been coming around checking my videos thank you so much you are amazing and i appreciate you and to all my new subscribers like i'm 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 so i'm so excited i'm so happy i'm so filled with joy for for joining my family i really really appreciate you and i thank you for your engaging questions engaging comments and i know continue con together we'll continue to make the world a better place now after you're done remember you can see how stretchy it looks but remember that extra one if you need more 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 of the icing sugar you just add it and now this is just what i needed Next is I just fetch a little Crisco in my hand and I rub it round. This is the fondant. It's ready. However, you have to wrap it either in a cling film or in a cellophane bag, ziplock, and allow it to sit or rest for 24 hours. That is a day or at least for some reason it was in case you have an emergency um, cake to deliver. Now, when it has stayed for, when it has rested, I tell you, getting those cakes, as you're seeing here, will not be difficult. This, uh, this is the recipe I use. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like the video if you have not done so.